Norman later comes, but after the psycho killer leaves, Norman discovers the scene, cleans up the evidence, ditches her body in the car that she used, dumps it in the water, hides all evidence, wipes it with the water from the, ba- from the bathroom. But right later you find out it's actually hi- it was actually him who killed her, just under a different a psychotic personality, split personality disorder. And his sister, I forget his sister's first name, but her last name is Crane as well. And Marion Crane's former fiance, Sam Loomis, like they, he, they go out to find her. Then they meet up with Norman and yeah, like, like they, you know, there's like a psycho in the area. Scary stuff like that, right? I really, I really admire this film. I think it's one of those movies that deserves to be seen by people who are willing to learn the history of film or movies or especially people majoring in movie making or anything that has to do with films. I, I really admire Psycho. Don't ditch this. Don't bail out on watching this movie. Watch it. It's like one of the best. It's like one of the best Alfred Hitchcock movies ever as well. I'll say that. Um. Uh, they, they came out, they came out with three sequels, but it took them 20, but it, they didn't come out with the first sequel, Psycho 2, until 23 years later. And they made a book called Psycho 2, but it didn't have anything to do, like the movie didn't have anything to do with the Psycho 2 book, which disappointed people and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, and like, they also remade the movie in 1998, but I've seen a little bit of it, but it looks like silly. Like it's not as good as the Alfred Hitchcock one because you know you can't beat the original version really. But still, like Psycho's really interesting, and they also came out with a TV movie and a television show, which ended almost two years ago. I never really watched it. On the air, I, I mean, I've seen a little bit of a few episodes on while it was on the air, but I'm gonna start binge watching it, and I I hope it's so good. And who knows if they'll continue the franchise? I mean, if they do, they'll probably it'll probably take a few years. I I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it took them another four to five years or maybe more to continue the franchise if they do continue the franchise ever. They'll probably come with an idea to make a movie about a continuation to the. Original franchise? I don't know. We'll make another video about that. But yeah, um, there, there's a lot of foreshadowing. A lot of symbolism. Norman Bates is supposed to mean, like, Norman is neither normal or unnormal. I don't know if I used the right prefix for the opposite of, the word for opposite of normal, but anyway, here you go. Because he's a psychopath. And Bates. He's used the motel as Bates. Bait. You know, baiting, luring victims in to kill him. And, um, like, this, the weird thing, spoiler alert, is that his psychopath personality is, that, is like, him being his mother. Like, his mother's haunting him, because he killed his, his, his mother died years before. Yeah, stuff like that. And, like, there's also Marion Crane. Because Marion Crane was engaged to Sam Loomis, who had something to do with birds. I think my movie teacher, film studies teacher, yeah, I took a film studies class last year, and we were watching Psycho, and he said it it meant it resembled how Marion Crane was engaged to Sam Loomis, and he killed birds. You know, Crane is another way to say birds or something like that, like Jonathan Crane, and he was good. He's but you know he would have married her. So yeah, so yeah, and now like yeah, it's a good movie, and like. Alfred Hitchcock has a cameo in this movie, and if you really know what he looks like, and you focus on, you should be able to find him. If you don't know where, if you, like, if you want me to spoil where he is, if you need help, like, I'll tell you, but if you don't want to know, like, you're going to try to look for him by yourself, I'm going to give you 10 seconds right now to, you know, get off this video. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No, time's up. So Alfred Hitchcock, he's in the scene where the Marion Crane enters the bank, I think, and fun. Oop, that's the doorbell. Sorry. He's through the. You see him through this window. He's walking by the sidewalk, wearing a hat, just like looking at the street that he's that's by in front of him. And fun fact, in the bank, this one desk clerk lady is actually his daughter, who's still alive today, and I think she lives in England. Uh, uh maybe I'm getting mixed up with someone else, but she is alive. I'm gonna try to meet her. I don't think she goes to conventions, but like, hopefully, I don't, I don't even know what she looks like, but I think we. I'll just slim, but I, I I think it'd be nice if I get to meet her. And she has kids, so I, it'd be really nice if I could at least meet a relative of Alfred Hitchcock's in the future. See, Alfred Hitchcock died back in 1980, and it was way before I was born, even way before my older sister was born, who's the oldest out of the siblings, like, I, like groups I'm, I'm in. But yeah, and like, Psycho, like... It also kind of helped inspire the movie Halloween, and it helped, like, the horror French horror genre get more popular, I think. Like, you know, like, they would eventually do Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, obviously, Friday the 13th, The Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, I Spit on Your Grave, The Exorcist, uh, My Bloody Valentine, um, Child's Play, Scream. It goes on and on, baby. Mm. <laughs> and, like... I I need to tell you they did they referenced the shower scene over the years in a lot of movies like I'm gonna name a few right now um National Lampoon's Vacation the first one yeah, not the 2015 one but the the reboot or most recent vacation movie like the one the original one where Rusty and his sister are like our kids they referenced the shower scene there they referenced. The shower scene in Diary of a Movie Kid, The Long Haul. I didn't see Diary of a Movie Kid, The Long Haul yet, but I know they're doing, yeah. And I'll, yeah. Very calm, subscribe, favorite, talk to people later. Peace. Albert Hitchcock Psycho. It was a good movie. Recommend it. See you later. And we'll talk more in the future.